Well, hey there, and happy Vlogmas Day 16. <laughs> didn't film first thing this morning like I normally do. It is so dark over here because um, I was up so early and I had to get Andrew off to the airport. So I wanted to be quiet and I really didn't have a lot of time. I slept up until the last second of having to roll out of bed, throw some clothes on and, and get on the road. Um, I did film a little bit, so I will insert that here. <laughs> We're Hello. Hello. <laughs> that nutcracker. Oh, I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. I'll see you when you pick me up. Yep, I'll see you when I pick you up. Love you. Have fun. So I got Andrew dropped off, and I just got back on the highway to go home. And I look a mess, but you know what? I woke up, threw some clothes on, and hit the road. This is the first time that he has flown by himself. He's super excited about it. He is not just excited about it, but it's um, it it's an important milestone for him, and it's also an important milestone for me. I'm so proud of him. He's come so far in growing up and becoming independent. And at 21 years old, um, it's just, um, it's, you, it's hard to explain. It's hard for me to put into words. I never wanted my kids to be independent, to be quite honest. <laughs> when they were younger, I wanted them so desperately to always need me but more importantly I wanted to be the one that took care of everything so that they wouldn't have to but li realistically life doesn't work that way they have to grow up they have to be independent because one day you're not going to be there and they need to be able to be completely self-sufficient and pass that on to their children so this is a really important day because it's just another milestone of growth that I'm letting go and not fretting and worrying and trusting Andrew's abilities. And Andrew is trusting his own abilities. And that is a big deal. So what's on tap for the rest of today? Well, it's Friday. And even though I'm at the airport, I'll be back home in time to start work. So today is a work day. <laughs> But I also need to finish up Christmas shopping. So after work's done, I will be getting that knocked out. In the meanwhile, I'm going to turn on Christmas music and enjoy this ride home. It's about an hour or so for me to get back home. Um, so I'm just gonna enjoy that. And I'm gonna drink my um, cookie butter coffee from Dunkin' Donuts because that's what we got for breakfast. And um, enjoy the day. It is beautiful weather so far. I mean, it's cold, but there's no rain. It's a beautiful sky. Now, I will say it's pink. Pink in the morning, or pink in the morning, sailor's warning. Pink at night, sailor's delight. Um, because my dad was an avid fisherman and a boatsman, and um, I was raised on the water, not literally raised on the water, but we had um, a home on the bay, and um, we also had a boat, several, you know, not all at one time, but we went, we went through boats. We graduated up, um, you know, subsequently. Um, my dad just loved fishing and loved the water, and we grew to have also a love of fishing in the water. Um, saltwater fishing, freshwater fishing, you name it, we did it. And um, it was just, that's, we didn't do big family vacations because we had that property. And we would literally just go to Norfolk and um, every other weekend. And we would stay at our place. It was literally right on the bay. We had our own little private beach. Um, and we would go swimming. We cooked out. We fit. The guys fished mostly. And we shopped. The ladies shopped. And I would clean. <laughs> Even little. 
I would clean. So even my kids got to experience that too. So we did not get rid of our place and the boat in, um, that we had in Norfolk um, until, well, I'm going to show my age a little bit here. We have it, we had it when all the kids were young. Um, so it has been at least 20 years. Yes, it's been 20 years. Oh God, it's been 20 years. Andrew was one when we sold everything there. So yeah, we just couldn't keep up with it anymore. And after, you know, dad got to a certain age and he couldn't travel as much, it was harder for him. It was just best to sell it and to let go of that. And then we just dad fished locally. We got him a good John boat and we lived near a lake and he just fished on the lake. Dad could catch fish in a mud puddle, so it was fine. He he was content, he was happy. Um, so that's what that's what he did until he, he passed. And then we gave his John boat to his best friend when he passed away because we really had no need for a John boat. <laughs> so. And it was something that him and his best friend did. So, and his best friend was still able to do it. So it was a blessing for his best friend to have his John boat because it was like his anyway. So just seemed fitting. Enough of that. I'm going to get off here, focus on the road because even though I've gone to the airport quite a few times and dropped off people and whatever, I'm still not typically the one that drives mostly. So I don't know the area very well, not by heart. So I'm going to concentrate on the road and I will check back in with you at the end of today. So I got back from taking Andrew to the airport, um, got work accomplished and I feel really good about work. I got a lot done and I'm in a really good place going into next week, which is the last week before the holiday. So super happy about that. And then I got home really quick and I cleaned the house top to bottom got the laundry started. I'm on my last load that's in the dryer now. While laundry was going and, and the floors were drying, I ran out and finished Christmas shopping. Yep. I got all the things done. All the things. I'm done. <laughs> now, I have taken a nice long bath um, and I, have, I did a facial. That's my skin looks better in person than it does on camera. Just gonna say, but I did do a facial. I haven't put my moisturizer or anything on because Maggie likes to lick, you guys know that. And I usually, after I get a nice hot bath and I've done all the things, I um, like to finish off by putting baby oil on and I just lather up and soak in it because my skin gets so dry and that's the thing that works best for me. And then um, tomorrow night, of course, I'll go back to just using moisturizer and lotion and all that good stuff. But I do like to use baby oil because it does help a lot. Um, so that's it for this vlog. I did want to show you real quick. It's a boring vlog. Sorry. I'm going to turn you around and show you this tiered tray because I don't I know that I put it in the home door, which you'll see Sunday, but it's just too cute. It deserves its own little bit of attention. So how cute is this tiered tray? I mean, what I love is look at these little teeny cups and the little teeny gingerbread people. I have one for Stephanie. I have one here for Philip. I have one for me back here. I don't know if you, there it is. And then I have one for Andrew right here. And look at the little teeny cookies and the little teeny bowl of dough. I mean, it's so stinking cute. That's really the part that I wanted to show you. All the other stuff is pretty, it's nice and I love it. But this is what I love the most. Those little cups, oh my goodness. I got those years ago. Yeah, those were, I don't even remember where we got them. I had one for everybody in the family and slowly we've lost all of them. <laughs> I need to find one for art. I wonder if I could like Google search mini cups. I'm probably sure. I'm sure I could. 
So tomorrow is date night and um, I'm gonna be wrapping in the morning. I'm just gonna be casual. We're gonna, I got everything done today so that I can really enjoy and rest this weekend. I do wanna do some baking on Sunday, so I'll show you that, of course. We'll hang out in the kitchen and bake. And um, I'll take you down with me into the basement tomorrow so we can wrap and we'll bring all the presents up and stock all the uh, stuff, all the stockings and get everything ready because next week is actually um, a busy week at work. We are in our, it's, we're doing our accreditation. Um, and I'm not gonna go into that, but basically we're having like, a, it's almost, it's comparable to an audit. Maggie wants up, hold on. She wants up so she can lick me. <laughs> I swear I can't win. Um, anyway, it's kind of like an audit. So it's comparable to an audit. So we definitely have a lot going on and we're all, it's all hands on deck. <laughs> this kind of thing. So it's going to be really busy. So I definitely want to be able to focus on work and not have to worry about anything at home or anything about the holidays because this is, this is go to week. So I'm going to get all of that done. Look at her. She is like, no, no, you don't have to lick my face every second. You don't, you don't. So anyway, um, so next week's going to be busy. Everything is going to get done this weekend, but I'm really, the things that are left to do, I'm going to enjoy. I, I enjoy wrapping the gifts and stuffing the stockings and doing the baking. Those are fun things for me. And um, so I'm just gonna sit back, and I feel so much better that Andrew as Andrew landed in Tennessee, all is well. He's happy um, and enjoying himself, and um, so now I can rest. I can just sit back and relax this evening, and that's what I'm about to do. So until tomorrow, when we do it all again, <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.